We all remember the famous scene in Goodfellas when Ray Liotta's Henry Hill married Lorraine Bracco's Karen. But how accurate was the scene compared to Henry Hill's real life wedding? Let's check it out. I'm James Gladwish and welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today we're going to take a quick look at the real life wedding of Henry Hill and Karen Friedman, which was depicted in Martin Scorsese's classic mob movie Goodfellas. The first major difference between the movie and Henry Hill's real wedding is the presence of one significant individual. In the movie Goodfellas, Paul Sorvino's character Paulie Cicero, based on real-life Lucchese crime family captain Paul Vario, is seen as a prominent individual at the wedding, introducing Karen to many guests. However, in real life, when Henry married Karen, Paul Vario did not attend the wedding at all. Lucchese captain Paul Vario actually missed the wedding, due to the fact that he was serving time in jail for contempt of court. As Karen Hill would later say, When I asked where Paulie was, Henry just said he couldn't make it. Later I found out that he was serving 60 days for contempt, after he'd refused to testify before a Nassau County Grand Jury looking into a Long Island bookmaking ring. I found out after a while that Paul and his sons Peter and Paul Jr were always doing 30 or 60 days for contempt. It went with the territory. It didn't seem to bother them. Paul Vario spending 60 days in jail evidently explains why he is missing from this photo taken at Henry Hill's wedding. It features Henry and Karen and many members of Paul Vario's family. In the film, Karen mentions that she was introduced to Paulie and his brother's sons and they seem to all be named either Peter or Paul and they were all married to girls named Marie. In the book Wise Guy that the film is based on, Karen says, There had to be a dozen Peters and Pauls at the wedding. Also, three of the Vario brothers were married to girls named Marie, and they all had daughters named Marie. By the time Henry finished introducing me to everyone, I thought I was drunk. This photo supports Karen's account. Let's look at the guests. Back row from left to right, Butch's wife. Next to her is Butch, real name Peter Vario, son of Tommy Vario. Next to Butch is Jocko, real name also Peter Vario, son of Salvatore Vario. Next is another Peter Vario, son of Lenny Vario. In the middle at the back is Karen and Henry Hill. Next to Henry is Tommy Vario, Paul Vario's brother, followed by Lenny Vario, another brother of Paul. Next is Vito Vario, one of Paul's other brothers. Vito Vario was known as Tuddy. Stood next to Tuddy is his wife Marie. And then on the far right is Charles Sardella. On the front row, this time from right to left, we have Marie Sardella, sat just below her husband Charles. Marie Sardella was born Marie Vario and was Lenny Vario's daughter. Next to Marie Sardella is Fran Vario, Lenny's wife. Next along is Marie Vario, Tommy Vario's wife. Following her is another Marie Vario who was married to Lenny's son Peter Vario. And finally is yet again another Marie Vario who was married to Salvatore Vario's son, Peter Jocko Vario. So, as you can see, Karen Hill was not exaggerating when she stated there was a lot of Peters and Maries. In the movie Goodfellas, only one of Paulie's brothers is really prominent, and this is Tuddy, based on the real Paul Vario's brother, Vito Tuddy Vario. However, as we see in Henry Hill's wedding photo, Paul Vario actually had four brothers. Here is a photo taken at another occasion 
of all of the Vario brothers. Many of Paul Vario's relatives were involved in a life of crime. For example, from sources such as FBI files and informants, including Lucchese family associate Henry Hill and former Lucchese family acting boss Al Diarco, we know that Paul Vario's sons, Lenny, Peter and Paulie Jr., were involved in criminal activities. Paul Vario's brother Lenny was once allegedly arrested alongside Charlie Luciano, and one of Paul's other brothers, Salvatore Babe Vario, was a made man in the Lucchese crime family. Sources even indicate that for a period in the 1960s, Babe Vario was acting captain of his brother's crew, and in the 1980s, for a short time, Paulie Vario's son Peter also served as acting captain. In the movie Goodfellas, we see that Karen and Henry first met on a double date with Joe Pesci's Tommy DeVito, who is based on Lucchese crime family associate Tommy DeSimone. However, in real life, it was Paul Vario's son, Paulie Jr., who begged Henry Hill to go on a double date with him. Henry Hill would recall, I was at the cab stand when Paulie Jr. came running in. He had been trying to go out with this girl Diane for weeks, and finally she had said okay. But she wouldn't go out with him unless she could double date. Junior's desperate. He needs a backup guy. In the movie, Henry Hill's first arrest is shown after he and a young Tommy have been selling untaxed cigarettes. However, in real life, Henry Hill's first arrest came after he and Lenny Vario, son of Paulie, had tried to buy tyres with a stolen credit card. The famous scene where a young Henry Hill walks out of court and the Paulie Cicero character states, Oh, you broke your cherry, is also slightly inaccurate, as again, in real life, Paulie Vario was not there either. As Henry Hill states, When I turned around to walk out of the court, I could see all of the Varios were standing in the back of the room. Paulie wasn't there because he was serving 30 days on a contempt hearing. But everybody else was smiling and laughing and started hugging me and kissing me and banging me on the back. It was like a graduation. Tuddy kept yelling, You broke your cherry. You broke your cherry. It was a big deal. As we can see from Henry's account, it was really Paulie's brother Vito Tuddy Vario who uttered the famous line. Obviously, to keep things simple, Nicholas Pileggi and Martin Scorsese, the screenwriters, had to leave out many real-life individuals such as most of the Vario brothers and their sons, and combine their stories and use them for other characters. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.